Hi, this is Sasha from theautismhelper.com, and this is a product preview of my interactive math workbook, Level 3. So if you've checked out the other product previews, each level increases in difficulty and is geared for a different set of kids. So I've really been striving to create these math tasks that are interactive and structured. So it's going to get away from worksheets and make things a little bit more hands-on. You could use these tasks for a variety of reasons. I think these would be great to teach new skills or also great for previously mastered skills. These would work awesome in a workbook altogether and have a paraprofessional run it. So you can really do whatever suits your classroom best when utilizing this resource. So I give some tips and suggestions here as well. So the first task is rounding to the next dollar up. So there's different prices and the students will match the next dollar up in with all of these price tags. So this is a great real life skill that when you're paying for something that's $4.56, the next bill up would be $5. So that would be the appropriate bill to give. So this is a great rounding skill to work on. Next is matching the coin combinations. We saw this task in the last set, but this one gets a little more complicated as you see. So this is looking at coin combinations with between five and six coins that are a little bit more complicated. So they're going to match the amount to the amount of coins here. Next is sorting the multiples. So looking at counting by threes, counting by fours, by fives, elevens, thirteens. So these are great pre-multiplication skills or multiplication skills that I'm really excited to utilize. Um, next we have filling in the missing part. This is great to kind of bring that number awareness. So this one you would laminate and students could write it in with a dry erase marker. There are no movable pieces. So for the ten they'd write in four, etc. So this is a great to work on those problem solving skills that a lot of our kids really, really struggle with. And then this is matching the dice. I'm really excited about this one because it includes three numbers, which is so hard. We focus so much on teaching two digit operations. What about three? And what about with things that aren't numbers? So we'll have to match which three dice equal up to the number. So again, these are tasks that students really need to think about. You can't fly through these. You're going to have to really sit and attend, which I love. So in the last set, we saw writing the number words, a skill I realized a lot of students I work with are missing. So the last set had three digit numbers focused mostly on that, I'm sorry, two digit numbers under 100. This one focuses on three and four digit numbers. So when you write 789, how does that look? Or when you write 3,987, how does that look? So this will be a dry erase one that they can write in with markers. Next is greater than or less than. Again, we saw this in the last one, but this removes the, rem the movable piece, and they will be writing this in with a dry erase marker, and these are all four-digit numbers. So really attending to those higher numbers and where they relate, how they relate to each other. Next up, we have matching clocks to the five-minute increments. So here's the clocks and the times, and then drawing the hands, again, on the five-minute or one-minute increment. So drawing the times on. Um, we have matching the fractions, so here's a bunch of different fractions, all different types, and students will be matching the correct fraction. And then what comes between? Again, I'm really, really excited about this one. So this is a great skill to work on and something we often forget about, but how numbers relate to each other, and especially with these four-digit ones. It gets really confusing. There's a lot of stuff going on. So putting having these different numbers, where do they fall in relation to the other two. So really looking at that um, discrimination ability that I can discriminate that this is bigger than this, but would it come before or after? Um, and then we're having a basic math sort next, which again, you're really going to have to attend here. So this has addition and subtraction, so which numbers equal up to the different answers. So they'll really have to spend the time to attend to the numbers and make sure they're sorting correctly. And then next we have finish the patterns, but these are a little more complex. They're not our basic A-B patterns. So students are going to really have to attend to finishing the patterns here as opposed to just throwing the pieces on. So again, this is my interactive math binder level three. So for your highest level learning learner, if you're interested in purchasing these, you can also save some money by purchasing the bundle and getting all three in one download. Um, so again, thanks for watching by theautismhelper.com.